Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you on this Labor Day. Waves of cold are ahead, and as those waves make their way through, from time to time, a few thunderstorms. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast details are coming up now. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Well, I hope you had a fun weekend, a safe weekend, and we do have some weather changes that will begin happening as we go through the night tonight. Now, we do have a couple of thunder showers that'll be uh, rustling up and through the area as we go through our evening hours to hit and miss in variety. The better chance of showers and storms comes with the first wave, as I've been talking of, of that cold front making its way through. We'll have a south wind to begin our Tuesday in the early morning hours. Those south winds will really help to keep things mild overnight, so nothing too unprecedented there temperature-wise. Showers and thunderstorms most likely along northern Minnesota with a trail working its way through. So this is that first wave of cooler air burping its way down from Canada that brings big time change for your back to school forecast tomorrow. Now, as we go through the remainder uh, of the morning hours, passing showers and storms from north to south will work their way mainly on the Minnesota side of the river. And we're not done. Now, notice there's a little bit of a wind shift up north a northerly wind there. Still southerly here in the Southern Valley, which sets up some big time differences in our daytime temperatures. Heading into your mid-morning to midday hours, these showers and storms associated with wave numero uno works its way out towards the I-35 <clears throat> corridor rather. North winds will be setting up shop and the cooling begins up there now. Here comes wave two with another surge of cool air behind it. You see it? More showers and storms. Our winds shift in Fargo, Grand Forks, all the way through Lakes Country. Scattered showers and storms on your Tuesday afternoon. A couple of storms have a slight chance of being severe, but that won't be the main threat. Uh, out there. We'll have some strong thunderstorms, some hail in isolated cells, and, pardon me, and a few gusty winds as we work our way through our Tuesday afternoon. Notice how quickly it's out of here, though. Then you start seeing blue temperatures on the map. That's cold air working its way in for the nighttime hours. And <clears throat> wave number three arrives on Wednesday with a slight chance of a few spotted showers and storms. So let's walk through your forecast together as you start out your back to school forecast in the morning near 60 for most, 65 west, winds southerly. Up northerly up north, a patchy area of fog not out of the question. And remember, a chance of showers and storms working their way southward through the region. The better chance of stronger storms comes in the afternoon afternoon, mainly on the Minnesota side of the river, so we'll call it scattered storms in the Minnesota side, isolated storms or spotty ones on the North Dakota side, and in the afternoon we'll be seeing a wind shift. You'll see that wind shift to a northerly wind first up north. Down south we'll have that chance of change coming later. Temperatures down south, therefore, will likely be a little bit warmer, unless you're under one of those gully washers, frog stranglers, just one of those really, really wet rainfalls out there. Now, as we go through the seven-day planner, here's what you need to know. We're going to look at rainfall amount potential as well here in a minute, so stick around. We're going from near 80 as we go into your Tuesday and back to school, and then after that, much cooler. Temperatures right around the 50s for most of the day, peaking near 60. Same thing goes on Thursday, except the morning gets colder, more possible rain there. So I think a scattered shower chance on Tuesday, mainly in Minnesota. A little bit of a break with isolated activity Wednesday, then Thursday, boom, shazam, here we go again. Some wet weather in places, I'll show you where, but I've got highlighted Saturday and Sunday in red. What's that mean? Oh no, oh no. No, it doesn't mean that, but look at these low temperatures. I've highlighted those for you. We're talking mid thirties. You know what that means? That means F-R-O-S-T. I won't say it, but F-R-O-S-T. You get the picture, a chance for some areas of F-R-O-S-T in your forecast Saturday and Sunday. After that, woo, a little bit of a rebound, but a chance of some thunder back in the forecast. Wild weather. Welcome to September. Hey, thanks to all of you who've uploaded photos on HutchesWeather.com. HutchesWeather.com, anytime, anywhere. A great place to share your updates and weather information. Check it out. Some of the photos uploaded from the holiday weekend itself. Thank you so very much to all of you who have uploaded these photos. But looky, looky what was going on in Rolog. Hey, thanks, Tiffany, for that front row seat. It's this one here, a vintage well, it says Landini Super Tractor from the 1930s. A lot of fun to cruise around in the old Landini. And then if you're out with Nathan out here, it looks like we had a fun day at the Fargo-Moorhead, uh, Minnesota uh, area out here. Oh, it looks like maybe, maybe a fun snack truck out there as well. And... You know what? Sometimes our eyes, especially at 6 a.m. for Hutch Johnson, can play a little trick on us, but so can fog. 
Look at this. Is that a hot air balloon? Nope. It's the Dakota Magic Casino. That's the water tower out there. First of all, look how high it is. Fog kind of really reducing what we can see. And we did have that fog as we went through the morning of the 28th in places. And if you look really closely at clouds, and I used to do this all the time, and still to this day I do, do you see something in these clouds? What do you see? Put it in the comments below. I see something. I always see something. But sometimes I've been accused of seeing things. But today I see changes in your forecast. Don't forget to click the follow button on my Facebook page. Subscribe on YouTube and have yourself a wonderful start to the work week and the school year and all that September stuff that's going on. Changes. Yes, we have changes.